Okay, here we are. We're working with uh, How Great Is Our God by Chris Tomlin. And uh, we are, you do know that song, right? Okay. So uh, this is going to be an A. I'm transposing this from a chart in G. Um, but really, here's what we're doing. We are just going to limit our our notes. Okay. I'm only going to give you, I'm only going to give you three notes per chord. All right. This way you don't have to think too much. And also I'm going to keep you limited to one pattern here to one position. That position is your A major scale. All right. I'm going to show you the A major scale and then we'll talk about each of the notes that follow for each chord. Okay. Here we go. So here's your A major scale. You're starting on A, which is the fifth fret of the A string or the E string. I'm sorry. Fifth fret of the E string. If you don't have a five string bass, then picture it like this. Here's your four strings. This is your E string right here. Okay. So we're on the fifth fret, which is A. And what I'm doing is I'm going to show you the A major scale. Here we go. It's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay, that should sound very familiar to you as a do re mi scale okay so whenever i play an a i'm only going to play the a and the two notes up the scale from it that's it that's going to be where i'm going to create a little bass fill or just some bass lines this is practice so we're going to do it every chord i'm not worried about overplaying here okay i'm just practicing and trying to see what sounds good what sounds right okay so here i go with with a it will be when I play the A chord, I'm going to play A, B, C sharp. You can play those any way you want. You can play them in any rhythm that you want as long as it fits with the rhythm of the song. Okay? Or you can just go... Whatever fits with the rhythm of the song, okay? Next we have F sharp or a G sharp, which is actually a passing tone. So it's like the splendor of the king. We only hit in that for one beat, really. So I don't know that I would do much of a fill with that. But that's what that is. So our next fill would come on the F sharp, which is right here. And once again, we're staying in this, this pattern right here of the A major scale. And here we go. From the F sharp, we're going F sharp, G sharp, A. All right, so to play it off the song, we're going the splendor of the king. And then our passing tone, which is now a G sharp. Now we're on the F sharp. Clothed in majesty. Okay, I just played these three notes. The F sharp, the G sharp, and the A. Come back to the F sharp. Then I go down to the D major seventh. Let all the earth rejoice. All the earth rejoice. So the next three, the next notes after the D are D, E, F sharp. Okay. So let's just play that line in context here. Now, here we go. The splendor of the king. The majesty. The clothed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice. All the earth rejoices. Then we start over again. He wraps himself in light. Okay, so you could start either place, either octave. Darkness hides to hide. Trembles at his voice. Trembles at his voice. So I came up to the E there, which the E at the end of the at the end of the verse you go to an E, which is also going to be F sharp G, E, F sharp G. All right, so you can play around with these. All right, so you're switching. All right, so remember, you can play these any pattern or any, any sequence you want or any rhythm that you want. But give that a try. So the next is the chorus. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God, and all the world shall see. I'm sorry, how great is our God. Okay, so that's kind of, well, let me get that back, sorry. All right, so once again, the chorus. How great is our God, sing with me how great is our God. Okay. 
right, so this is really just to give you, I'm gonna bring this up now, okay? So this is just an idea to give you some understanding of how base fills are created. So number one, we're staying within the key. We're starting off very basic. We're starting within the key, and then we're just playing off of each note, the next two notes in the scale. So when I start on A, I play A, B, and C sharp. If I start on F sharp, I go from F sharp to G sharp to A. C, I go, I'm sorry, D, I go D, E, and F sharp, all right? And then E, I go E, F sharp, G sharp. I hope you see the pattern there. And I hope that it, in what I'm hoping to do here is, is to simplify it for you. If you're gonna stay on this pattern, get to know the notes, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. You know those, stay in that pattern and get used to playing each one. Just, in fact, don't even go through the song at first. Start off, G, or I'm sorry, A, okay? Uh, D, uh, F sharp. All right, just play off of the, just play the one, two, three. When you're on F sharp, that's the one. Then G sharp's the two, A is the three. When you're playing an A, the A is the one. The B is the two, and the C sharp is the three. Okay, the E, same thing. E would be the one, F sharp, and then G sharp. So you're playing everything within the key, you're staying within the scale, and you really don't have to move your hands off of the neck. Okay, we're going to run through a verse and a chorus of this, and I'll give you an example of how this is done. So that's about it, okay? So that's how we're going to do that. So give that a try, and you could do that with any song. Um, some songs will will be better than others to practice this with, but give it a try, and uh, let me know how it goes. Send me any questions, and uh, and we'll see if we can get them answered. So thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.